Did you page me, Ethan? Yes, um, I'm feeling fine, Dr. Russell. I'd love for you to release me. Let's see. Oh, your vitals are strong. Okay, all right, I'll have them send up the discharge papers right away. Thanks. But are you okay? You seem a little on edge. No, no, it's nothing. I, I just saw someone uh, that I used to know, and I thought that I would never see them again in my life. So it wasn't a pleasant encounter. You know, you think that you're free of your past, and then, wham, suddenly it is just there, front and center. I can relate to what you're saying about the past popping up, taking center stage. The same thing happens to Teresa and me. I mean, every time I think that things are settled between us and that she's accepted the fact that we'll never be together, she tries to convince me to take her back again. Well, Teresa's a, a very determined young lady, Ethan. She doesn't want to let you go. Well, she has to. I think that's going to be very hard for her, considering how much she loves you. Why does she lie to me? Not once, but over and over again. Ethan, I'm not going to say that Teresa hasn't made bad mistakes, because goodness knows she has. But it does seem to me that everything that she has done, right or wrong, she's done out of love for you. I think Teresa loves you more than she loves herself. Oh, I'll make sure your paperwork's processed so you can go home. Thanks. And I hope that this person from your past doesn't cause you any more upset. So do I. Dr. Russell? Yes, Ethan. I'm glad we could talk like this. It's just good to know that someone understands what I'm going through with Teresa. You call me if you feel dizzy or lightheaded. I will. 